Hi, it's Russ from Proto's Expert, and I have got myself the latest version of UAD Software 7.8, and it comes with three new plugins, the Culture Vulture and Dynamite and the Tilt EQ from SoftTube. Now, the Culture Vulture is world famous. It's used on lots of tracks to add color and to add character to the sound. Now, the one thing, if you look in the manual that they say, and it's well worth taking on board it they say have fun with this don't take yourself too seriously when you're using this it's a really cool plugin and i'm going to show you on a number of things today i'm going to show you some vocals can show you on the electric guitar and show you on bass there's a three kind of areas you could use it on but you can use it on anything there's no rules so it's a stereo plugin so basically slice this in half and what you've got here you've got there and you can use it in stereo or dual mono which is uh, really helpful so you could use it on a mix of course if you wanted to it's entirely up to you uh, and again you can use it on anything you like but I'm going to show you how it works basically it's got three types of distortion and it then has a drive control and it has a bias that's the amount of current going to the valves it has a filter built in and it has an overdrive an extra 20 db of gain so if you really want to thrash it you can then it has an output level so you can balance the original with the uh, change signal and it also has a control and link signal there, so you can either run it in dual mono or stereo. And it also uh, has a mix control, so you can use it in uh, parallel to some parallel processing. And often that's the case, but normally when you do parallel processing, you'd have to create an auxiliary, and then you'd bring the original back up and the mixing. But with this, you can just stick it across a track and then do parallel processing. So, uh, as I say, uh, now these all, a lot of these work in reverse, so everything will seem backwards. Uh, so if you want more th more thrash, basically, you bring the bias back down and you'll see. And in the middle, kind of a medium sound and then thinner as it goes up to the top. Uh, that seems a bit backward, but that's how it works in the original version as well. So let me show you. It's quickest to just show on a few things. So I've got a bass guitar here first I'm going to play you. So let's turn it off for a second. Let's turn. Let's get the one. Now, as I say, if I drive it, I can get more character into it. Have it very clean. And then the bias, as I say, if we bring this back down. There's the original. Now the cool thing is to say, because you can mix it as well, what we could then do is we could take it out for a second. You can hear there's a really nice harmonic in there. And there's a filter as well. Now three types of distortion types, we could really, if we wanted to, we could really make that bass really distort and really grind. And again, the overdrive's on when it's down. So you can really mess it up if you want. So I'll go back to where I was. Original. So you can really add some colour to this. That's on a bass guitar. Let's try an electric guitar now. And so that's a nice electric guitar with a bit of H delay on it as well. So let's just bring this across here. So uh, again, off. So what I've done on this time, I've actually put the filtering because I want to smooth this guitar. It's a bit scratchy without it. So let me play you first. The mix control is really nice. It enables you to really do some nice stuff. Now, if I wanted to really mess that guitar up, I could put the overdrive back on. I 
add some more harmonics in there again. But as I say, I want to keep it. Really sweeten it up. Because it's in link, anytime I miss, anytime I, I change anything on this side, the this side will copy it because it's in link mode rather than uh, in in multi mono. So. so let's try it on a mono track now. Let's finally try it on a vocal, and here is uh, first. Uh, let's try that. Bad for you. For you. And again, we can, if we wanted to, we could, we could bring the filter in as well. We could add a harmonic in and then mix it in. So we could take that down. Bad for you. Bad for you. And mix that in. Bad for you. Put the filter back off, and we could again, we could push the drive a bit harder. Bad for you I fail to There's the original do. What you can really do is you can really give it some as I say if we mix that back in harder Bad for you can really give it some 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 real presence in the mix, especially on a vocal. If you've, a, if you've got a vocal that doesn't have a, that, 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 that's, that's nice, sometimes too nice, the best thing to do is to put it through this. Bad for you. And again, you want to, for you. And again, you use the output level just to balance them so you can do an A, B. Bad for you. I fail to do. And it just really adds some nice harmonic in there. As I say, the best thing to do is just mess with it and, and just get what you want out of it. And just, just keep, as they say, if you read the manual, it says don't take, take it too seriously. It's, it's a really fun plugin. And that's possibly what motivated the UA team to, to make the video they did, the, the, the kind of quirky video, uh, which seems to have thrown people off balance. Uh, uh, out there who, who seem to still want to just a, a basic video like this but I, I say this is the kind of show and tell video and go and watch their quirky video uh, on on some fun things to do with it but there we go I download the demo give it a try but it's it's a, it's a long overdue addition to the UA UA range I say add it to a track and you can really get some great uh, bass guitar vocals whatever you want to throw it on uh, a big thumbs up from us at Pro Tools Expert it's, it's well worth checking out and uh, a lot cheaper than buying the real hardware Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.